guys welcome back to another video and welcome to part two of this sephora haul so i did do a ton of shopping during the sephora vip sale and there's also a part one to this video so if you have not checked it out i definitely suggest that you guys head over to part one after seeing this part two so you guys can actually see my entire purchase so i'm really excited to get into part two i have a full bag of stuff before we jump in to today's video please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you guys have not already. And of course, without further ado, if you guys would like to see the rest of the things that I picked up during the Sephora VIB sale, then just keep on watching. So let's get into it. I don't want this video to be too long. So the first thing that I see here is very exciting. This is actually a holiday set. This right here is the Pharmacy Garden Party Glean, Glean, Green Clean Trio. Y'all, this is my third video that I'm filming for today. I'm a little tired, I'm not gonna lie. But anyway, this right here is a little trio. So this is the Green Clean by Pharmacy. I love this makeup melting balm. It is so good. So there's a peach, there's a lemon mint, and a strawberry basil. And I wanted to see if these were full size or if they were travel size. Okay, yeah, you guys. So these are like little travel sizes, like little mini versions. But honestly, you don't need much of this to remove your entire makeup. So I'm excited and the packaging is so cute. So I did pick up that. This is the Tower 28 Sunny Days Tinted Moisturizer. This is brand new. And when I actually went into Sephora to pick up my online order that I made, I was like, do you guys have this in stock? And she was like, we don't even have it on the floor yet. They know me pretty well at that Sephora. I mean, I wonder why. And she was like, you know what? I'll go to the back for you and see which shade I think will match best. And if it doesn't work out, you can always return it. I was like, you know what? Girl, I trust your opinion and that's fine. So she gave me the shade 30 PCH and this right here says it's reef safe, it's mineral sunscreen and also alcohol free. It's also vegan and cruelty free as well. And here's what the sunscreen looks like right here. The next thing that I picked up is something that I pick up every single year. This right here is the Laura Mercier translucent powder. She brings out a limited edition cap every single year and this is the holiday one this year. So this right here is $39 and you get a translucent setting powder of course and you also get a powder puff which if you guys have been watching my recent makeup tutorials you know I've been obsessed with powder puffs recently I've been using them to set my under eye concealer and it has been life-changing so the more the merrier so it does come with a cute like dusty rose pink one super cute and then this is the Laura Mercier translucent powder so it's just the original translucent powder with a limited edition cap this year's is gold it's like a shimmer gold so beautiful and I also love this powder it is so good so I got that the next thing that I picked up is one of my favorite foundations um, mine is pretty expired I also had to purchase the pump because they sell the pump separately this right here is the NARS sheer glow foundation and I got mine in the shade Stromboli this is what it looks like right here I was using the shade Santa Fe but you guys know I recently moved to Texas and it's always hot here from what I can see and I got so much color when I first moved here and like the tan won't fade like you guys can still see my tan lines right here like it's not going anywhere I am permanently tan which I'm not complaining but the shade Santa Fe is definitely too light so I picked up Stromboli next up I picked up something that I'm very excited for okay I splurged a little bit on this one because I've been wanting to try this this is the Charlotte Tilbury magic cream so I've heard nothing but good reviews on this cream I heard it's amazing the girl at Sephora she was like this has literally replaced all of my primers and I was like girl what like I swear by a primer I always use a primer before applying my foundation I do skincare in the morning which means I use my moisturizer and then I use a primer before putting on my foundation so she set the bar high but this is what the moisturizer looks like right here packaging is super bougie it's Charlotte Tilbury I mean it better be because this little jar is $65 but I'm very excited I will say I did cheat already and I already tried this and you guys I love it but I will say a good affordable dupe for this is the I believe the moonshine miracle cream is that what it's called? I'm really gonna laugh at myself when I'm editing this video and I'm like, where the heck did I get Moonshine Miracle Cream? I'm talking about the Moisturizer Primer Hybrid from Juno & Co. It literally feels like that from the whip texture to how it feels on the skin to how it soaks into the skin. So if you guys do not want to splurge on the Charlotte Tilbury but you want to try something more affordable, the Juno & Co. is the way to go. The next two things that I picked up was definitely something that I didn't need but they were limited edition and I was like, I love this product and I actually never go through one haul of these 
so like I said did I need it no did I want it yes was there a sale yes so I got it this right here is the Laneige lip sleeping mask they have two scents for the holiday season this is ginger snap which I mean it sounds delicious had to get it and then they also have a peppermint which is super exciting as well and it's so like holiday cheerish you know what I'm saying so I had to get it so I did pick up both of them um the peppermint one was selling quickly that was the last one on the shelf so I was like thank you very much put it in my basket. The next thing that I picked up is the NARS Climax Liquid Eyeliner. I've heard a lot of good things about this liner, so I wanted to pick it up. It is a felt tip liner, so nothing fancy about that. It's just a liquid liner. Then I also picked up a ton of Olaplex. If you have not tried Olaplex, if you are living under a rock, you need to try it. They do have a really cool holiday set, which I will put a photo right here so you guys can check it out. I believe it's a $60 set and you get a nice kit with the shampoo, the conditioner, I believe the number three perfecter, as well as the bonding oil oil which is phenomenal okay it's the perfect way to try them because you don't need a lot of this and it's gonna last you enough for you to see if you like it or if you don't like it so I went ahead and got the big bottles I always get them every time there's a sale so I picked up the conditioner of course I also picked up the shampoo like I said I love these and I don't buy them too often I only buy them like I said during the sale and I also picked up this limited edition jumbo size of the hair perfecter you guys when I seen that they were coming out with this for the holiday season, the hair perfector is so small and I go through it so quickly. So I definitely grabbed this. I'm so happy they brought this to us because it's definitely a must have. I hope that they keep that size for the future, but we'll see. And then I also picked up the Olaplex Intensive Balm Building Hair Treatment. So this is something that you spray into your hair before applying the number three hair perfector, which is basically like their hair mask. You leave it in for 10 to 15 minutes and then you rinse it. Um, but this is supposed to help it absorb into the hair a little bit better. That's what the claims are, so I don't know. We'll have to try it. I also picked up a gloss from Hourglass, and you guys, this gloss is unreal and I wasn't gonna get it in store I was like mm, it's a little pricey let me put it in my cart online and uh, maybe I'll order it before the sales over but I had to get my hands on it so this one is in the shade provoke and this is what it looks like right here and it is hourglass so it's a little pricey but the color is to die for I've already used this in a video so if you guys are interested to see the color I will link that video down below it is just so so delicious. I, I love it. It was sold out online and I know why. Here's the shade right here. It is the perfect nude gloss. I love it so much. It's so opaque. It's literally like one swipe on your lips and you have full on color. So I'm so happy I decided to try this. The next thing that I picked up is something that is super overpriced and I definitely want to try it sooner rather than later because if I don't like it, this is something that I'm going to return. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Nude Gasm Face Palette. So here's what the packaging looks like. This little palette right here is $75. Mm -hmm. Yes, girl, 75 whopping dollars. So here's what the packaging looks like right here. You guys already know Charlotte Tilbury is pretty pricey. And this is what the actual palette looks like. So it is really beautiful. I'm not going to lie. It has a beautiful highlighter. It has a luminous blush as well as two contour shades. So I'm a little nervous about this shade right here. So I'm going to try it and see how it looks. But I'm really excited for the highlight. I've seen a few people use this in videos and it looks so beautiful. But everyone that I've seen are more on the fair to light skin tones. And I'm a little bit more in the light to medium skin tones. So I'm curious to see how it's going to look on my skin tone. But I'll have to try it out and see if it's worth it. If not, honey, she's going back right from where she came from. Listen, you guys, I have no shame in returning. Kiki, my fiance, could tell you she is the return queen. I really am, you guys, because... This is my PR. This is my hard-earned money being used to put back into the channel, which of course I don't mind. It's something that I love doing, but I'm not going to hold on to something that was super expensive that I know I don't like or not going to use when I can use that money for something else that we can review on my channel. You get me? You get me. The next thing that I picked up is from Youth to the People, and you guys seen in my last video I picked up two of their face masks. Well, I also restocked on their cleanser. This right here is the Kale Green Tea Spinach Vitamins Superfood Cleanser. And this cleanser is amazing. It does come in a glass jar, which is amazing too, with a pump. So you can actually reuse this once you finish this cleanser, if you want to put in your own cleanser or whatever the case is. This is my third bottle at this point, and I will continue to repurchase because it is amazing. I love it. So the next two things that I got are from Glowish. I got the Huda Beauty Glowish Cheek Blush Powder. I picked up two. And when I seen how tiny these were, I was a little shooketh. So I hope that I like these because they're so small that I don't know how I'm even going to fit my brush in here. 
but I got the shade Karen Coral and Healthy Peach. So this right here is the shade Healthy Peach. Here is the packaging, very small. It's kind of the size of the Fenty Beauty Cream Blush, which is fine, but they could have made it a little bit bigger, that's all I'm saying. So here's what the shade looks like right here. It's just your typical peach color, but it does have a little swirl in there, which I thought was super unique, so that's what made me want to try it. You guys, by the way, it's been super windy here in Texas, so if you guys hear the wind outside, I apologize, there's really not much I could do about it. Hopefully you don't hear it, but if you do, that's what it is. And here's what this shade looks like. So super beautiful. This is my favorite out of the two. And then the last and final thing in this bag, and the last thing that I picked up during the sale, is this Fenty Beauty Resting Peach Face Cream Blush and Mini Gloss Duo. This is brand new to Fenty Beauty. This is a shade that she has not done before, and you know I have to get my hands on this. I love the Fenty Beauty Cream Blushes. They are so beautiful. So let's see what these shades are giving. So again, this one is in the shade Peach Face. And I remember buying these for the first time during one of the sales. And I was like, dang, this is so small. Like This is so tiny. This is ridiculous. And then you guys, now in my collection, I still have all the shades I've purchased. And I have not hit pan on not even one of them. So these last a lifetime. So the size is actually perfect. I do want to show you guys a comparison to her other like orange one. So here are both shades right here. So they're completely Completely different I wanted to show you guys both shades in case you were like hmm I think that's a little bit too similar to the first one that she has but it's not it is completely different fuego flush is more of a like neon orange and it does have a shimmer to it whereas the peach please is more of a true peach shade with absolutely no shimmer so that basically completes part two of what I got during the Sephora VIB sale I hope you guys enjoyed these two hauls like I mentioned before if you guys have not seen part one definitely go and check it out it's definitely worth it make sure that you guys enjoy sit down grab a snack watch both of them at the same time if they're already up or just enjoy one at a time i hope you guys like videos like this i love filming them down below in the comments let me know what you guys want to see in upcoming videos i've already tried a lot of this stuff which is very exciting and you guys obviously will see them in upcoming videos i also wanted to mention if you guys are interested in this makeup look today i did mention in part one that i did film this look with a few of the products in these makeup hauls that I've done. So if that video is up, I'll go ahead and link it down below. If it is not, it is coming soon. And thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.